So again, self-driving cars are the future of the world, and we have Tenzer here, who has uh, developed a ground-up product that's uh, quite innovative on its own. So here we have... Uh, I'm Amy uh, Luca, I'm the Chief Marketing yeah. Officer of Tensor. Fantastic, to talk us through the product. So uh, can you please give us a brief about the yeah, Tensor? So Tensor is the world's first fully autonomous level four vehicle that you can personally own. Uh, it is built from the ground up as level four. It is not retrofit. It's also an AI agentic car, which means that it can learn and listen and assist its owner. Understood. And this is an electric car? It's electric, yes. All right, and so what's the range of it? Uh, yes, the range is around uh, 350 miles or close to 500 kilometers. 500 kilometers, okay. And so just walk us through the technologies. Yeah, sure. let's start with the LiDARs, right? So what is very different than most uh, other competitors who are doing uh, self-driving uh, is that this has five LiDAR uh, on it. So one on the top, two on the sides, one on right. the front, and one on the very back. This is complemented by a whole camera system, a radar system, um, over 100 sensors in the vehicle uh, for safety uh, and security. And you also have a facility to take over uh, the driving. If yeah, so one thing that is very unique about us is we're built from the ground up to be level four. So by default, there's no steering wheel and, and, and no pedals. So you can't take over an L4. In L4 mode, the car is perfectly in control. There's right. a primary driver, a secondary driver, and a safety driver as part of the software. So it's very safe. However, if you did want to drive it, it's also the, the world's first dual mode car. So it can go all the way to level four, hands off, eyes off, brain off, everything. Um, or you, if you want to drive it, you can change the mode to a different mode and the steering wheel will appear. Got it. So for our viewers, the, just to let you know, there are four levels of ADAS uh, in level two. So Tesla's, just to, be, just to take as an example, is level three ADAS uh, enabled. So this is level four, that's complete autonomous driving. Yes, it means right. actually when it's in level four mode, you can sit in the back seat. You don't oh. need to sit in the front seat. So right. there's literally nothing you can do. Um, and we feel so strongly about it that we actually take all the liabilities. So we partner with an insurance company named Marsh and Marsh, uh, we're developing the world's first insurance policy for level four vehicles, personal vehicles, which means when it's in L4 mode, meaning hands off, eyes off, you're in the back seat, uh, we take all the liability. So if the car gets an accident, we, uh, we as a company take the liability. Because the driver can't, or the rider, I should say, uh, the owner cannot do anything. Right, okay, that, that's quite, Innovative. That's yep. uh, yeah. yeah, something that nobody has. No, it's thinking about, done. right? Yeah, because yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things that are for a personal vehicle you have to think about. The other yeah. thing that makes us different than, say, some of the other rideshare or t robo taxis, hmm. is we our car can't go back to a depot every night to get their sensors clean. So our car has a lot of self-cleaning sensors. You can see the window wiper on one of the cameras, and the sensors on the front. We also have all of our cameras and sensors have it almost. A, it's like a like an eyelash uh, functionality so that the car is self-cleaning and self-monitoring to okay. make sure that it's always in perfect working order. Great, so it does that on a regular interval? That's right. Between. Okay, a couple of questions. One you might not be able to answer right <laughs> now. Uh, first off, how soon can we see it on the roads of yeah. the UAE? Uh, in the UAE, probably, hopefully very soon um, because obviously we'll start testing process and things like that. Uh, but in terms of when it, uh, consumers can own it, mm -hmm. uh, the goal is uh, end of next year. End of next year. Yeah. And how expensive will it be? Uh, they always ask that question. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't disclose that, right. but uh, as we get closer to uh, pre-sales, we'll be disclosing that price. Understood. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so much thank for your time, you. Thank you, thank you.